It's like, I was just gonna say, people are picking up on it now, but like your trash talk is like criminally underrated. Like <laughs> the bit about, about like, I don't know what he was saying. Like I started laughing because like a week before that, I don't know if you saw Trump and Biden's debate. Oh, yes. And it was like the Trump meme where it's like, I don't know, if you knew I what he said what or what, what like, yeah, what I the mean, hell? It was like, exactly like that. I mean, yes, some one-liners, nobody just understands them. They don't mean anything. So you just do some one-liners out there that, I don't know, I don't understand it. You know, maybe I mean, it's over my head, but. I don't understand. It's like, I don't care where he's from, but I'm going to show him where he, what? I don't really give a fuck where he's from, but I'll show him who he is. Yeah, whatever that means. We can, I don't even know, man. It's like, it sounded very Biden-esque, you know? And then the thing about the dog, bro, like, I'm not your dog. It's like that, when, when he said, I don't kiss me, it's like... Was, uh, he said, don't go kissing me now, and I said, I'm no dog. So like, how did you, is that something? Because, like, you were never, like, a big trash talker, really. I mean, it was just like... Bro, I've never, I've never been a, a trash talker. I mean, even if you what, look at my fight, it's all depending on, on how my opponent treats me. You know, I've been, if, if you are coming at me, listen, I will never, ever be bullied at all. Or push around. That's not going to happen. So I'm always going to. If you treat me with respect and we make it about the fight only, that's the way I'm going to handle it. I mean, look at myself and Whitaker. Look at myself and even Darren Till. He was chill when we we were at a press and um, every single guy that I fought before this, it wasn't necessarily necessary because even look at Strickland. I was respectful and I was you know it wasn't a trash talking at all up until he tried to uh, you know he tried to, to bully me on, on uh, with the mic. That's mm -hmm. not going to happen. And uh, that's exactly what happened there. Yeah, but I will say, bro, it was already a 10 8 round with that one of the golf comments and everything. Do you think he retires when you beat him? I mean, yes. do you give it a thought? Um, I don't give it a lot of thought because it doesn't really matter to me. It's irrelevant to me, but yes, probably. Mm. And But like I said, it's not really something I think about and uh, it's irrelevant to me. But yeah, I mean, the guy's done it all in the sport. You know, he's had it. To say a great career is. Uh, it's almost understanding he's had one of the greatest careers ever. Mm. So, you no, know, he's earned it. He's earned it, and you know, it's a, it'll be a great time. Hundred percent, yeah. You'll be the first person to beat Robert Whitaker and his brother. So I said it last time. I don't know if it means much, but you know, it'll be another feather in the cap. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, I've got another one for you over here and over here. Please don't forget to subscribe over here and have a look at my other socials down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.